Alright, Shalom. warm. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rokha Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. And salutation and much love. You Akim out there preaching out his word, truth and sincerity. And um, this is Brother Ash coming back for another video from the Great Millstone Tampa Church. And I just want to do a quick video, you know, um, concerning the elect. All right. You know, because it's all, it's all about the elect at the end of the day. All right. The Lord is dealing directly through those. All right. Beginning with the, the servants of the Lord, the prophets. All right. The 144,000, which is the beginning of the elect. And then the rest of the one third. But it all begins with the elect. Okay. Specifically the prophets of the Lord. All right. And then get, they're going to be called on his holy name. All right. In these last days. Proclaiming the truth. 100%. So we're just going to go through these scriptures to prove that. All right. Uh, this is Matthew chapter 24 verse 22. It says, and except those days should be shortened, there should be no flesh saved. No flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. There you go, man. The, for the elect's sake. Not for everybody's sake. Not for, you know, the whole wide world. Not even for the whole nation of Israel. All right? But for the elect's sake. And you have to understand who the elect are. Okay? What nation of people do the, the, do the elect consist of? Well, that can be easily proven. All right? Isaiah 45... And verse 4, Isaiah 45 and 4, For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name, I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. So who was the elect? Israel, the nation of Israel. But again, not all Israel is of Israel at the end of the day. But what? So in Matthew 24, when it said, um, For my elect's sake, who is he talking about? He's talking about Israelites. Okay? Not everybody just because you claim to love Jesus and this and that. No, it's the elect is Israel. It says, in Israel, mine elect. All right? Plain and simple. Can't, ain't no way around that right there, man. So when it said, it, for mine elect's sake, the day shall be shortened for the elect's sake. All right? The Israelite's sake. And the, more specifically, the the one third of the nation of Israel, beginning with the 144,000. All right. And like I made the statement, not all Israel's of Israel. This is Romans chapter 9, verse 6. Uh, verse six. It says, Not as though the word of the Most High had taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. All right. So not all the Israelites are of Israel at this point in time, because like the two thirds, they're, they're casted out as publicans and heathens. Okay. Right now, the Lord ain't dealing with them. So when it's talking about the elect specifically, it's talking about the one third. All right. This is why the Lord's doing all these things. This is who the Lord's coming to bring salvation to, to the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. Because right now. The majority of our people aren't going to understand these 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 uh, parables. They're not going to get the word. They're not going to understand the scriptures and the breakdowns that the Lord has given unto us. They're not even going to know the name of the Lord. They're going to reject it just like they rejected him before. So there's no, nothing new under the sun. They rejected the Lord before and they're going to reject him again. But the elect are going to draw nigh unto him. All right, come back to him and seek him ten times more. Okay. Oh, actually, let's go back to uh, Romans 11. We'll start at verse 4. It says, But what saith the answer of the Most High unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. So today, that's symbolic for today, though. The ones that are not bending the knee to this world, all right, to the, to the God of this world, which is Esau. All right. The elect have been reserved, okay? Because electos, the word elect goes back to electos, and it means the chosen, okay? These men have been reserved and chosen, all right, to, to uh, come back unto the Lord and serve Him and ultimately receive salvation. Verse 5, Even so, then at this present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. So the, the ultimately the grace is for the elect, all right? Even though all of Israel shall be saved, they got to die first. 
They, it's the scripture say they shall know it by death. They shall know it through death by pain. You know, roughly paraphrasing. Okay. But what? The elect, the remnant. All right. The ones that have been predestinated to receive this word. All right. Is according to the election of grace, man. All right. So let me jump down to verse, verse 7. It says, what then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. But the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So again, only the elect is going to understand these sayings, these dark parables, the name of the Lord. All right, to fully understand the prophecies. All right. And it ain't going to be 50% or 98% of the truth. It's going to be 100% of the truth. And the rest were blinded. Because if you can't see 100% of this truth, you're blinded. You're not part of the elect at the end of the day. All right, and that's for the like this started off at Matthew 24 for the elect's sake, the day shall be short. So, the Lord is doing all these things for the elect's sake, He's speeding up the times, bringing the prophecies to pass, all right, right before our eyes for the elect's sake, so He can He can redeem those that are not bending the knee unto Baal, all right. Like verse six, uh, 5 said, Even so, then at this present time, also there is a remnant. Just like the 7,000 men that the Lord had that didn't bend the knee. Well, now the Lord's going to have an elect, hundred beginning with the 144,000, all right? And then the rest of the one-third of the nation of Israel. That's the remnant that the Lord is speaking about. That's the that's the remnant that the Lord is going to come and, and give salvation to, all right? And then the Lord's, the, the Lord was never, the Lord never came back to wake all of Israel up. Okay, that's not the, the, the agenda. That's not the will of the Heavenly Father because the majority of them is not going to understand it. They're blinded, like it says. But the election had attained it and the rest were blinded. All right. That's why the Lord would speak in parables because this wasn't for everybody. If the Lord wanted everybody to get it, he would have said it plainly unto them. But that's not the case, is it? All right. This is uh, St. John chapter 17, verse 5. Now, O Father, glorify Glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world, out of the world, which is who? The elect. All right, the, beginning with the 144,000, the Lord has manifested the name of Yahweh unto us. And of course, if we know the name of the Father, we're going to know the name of the Son. All right. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai is uh, the one that people ignorantly call Jesus. All right? So he meant it. So, of course, the elect is going to have the name in these last days. Because the Lord, Yahweh Shai, manifested it unto us. All right? But what? The rest were blinded. So the rest aren't going to understand the name. They're not going to receive the name. They're going to reject it. Because what? They're blinded. The majority of our people are blinded. All right, verse 6 again, it says, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. All right, that's that remnant that the Lord has, has, has uh, set up from the foundations of the earth. All right, the elect, the one he has personally chosen, all right, to receive this word, to receive his name, to keep his words. Okay, that's what the Lord is, is doing. Uh, uh, these are uh, uh, speeding up the times for, okay? And they're going to be calling on his name. No ifs, ands, buts about it. Okay? Because what they've, they've, uh, the Yahweh Shai has given it unto us. Lord will, be, I, Lord will I be part of that number. All right? This is Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And who's going to be the ones who put the trust in him? The elect. And they're going to uh, understand the truth. But what? Like we read in, in Romans 11 and 7. And the uh, the elect have attained it, but the rest were blinded. Blinded from what? Blinded from receiving the truth. All right? But what? The elect have attained it. Attained the understanding of the truth. All right? It says, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. All right? What is love? The keeping of the, the commandments. All right? We, the elect is going to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of their ability. So that it can show the Lord that they love him. Show the Lord their faith. Alright? It says, And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints. And he hath care for his elect. 
So the Lord's going to bestow grace and mercy upon his elect. All right. Because he has care for us. All right. But wait, you have to be given this. The Lord has to open your eyes. All right. If not, you're just going to you're going to be blind and you're going to continue in your in your in your sorrow. I mean, your 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 your, your silly ways, so to say, all right? your folly, all right? your ignorance. You're going to remain in sleep in, in a in a slumber. OK, so we'll close out with this. Um, so rock 17 and 10. I started nine. He gave them to glory in his marvelous acts forever that they might declare his works with understanding. Like we, we read in Wisdom of Psalm 3 and 9 that they're going to understand the truth. All right. Verse 10. And the elect shall praise his holy name. So the again, the elect, the ones that are been foreordained, selected. All right. The remnant, they're going to praise the holy name. And how are you going to do that if you don't know his name or if you can just call him whatever you feel? That's not the case. All right. The elect shall praise his holy name. The ones that are going to be redeemed or saved out of this, the, the, the sorrows and the terrible times coming are going to call on the name of the, the heavenly father and his son, the true names. All right. They're going to praise his holy name. God and Jesus ain't holy, okay? All right, so, you know, Lord's willing, this is edifying. Praise the holy name, all right? And fear the Lord. Shalom.